What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, So Crazy TV, back with another video, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. We are back at it with another episode, man. And today, we got Charles Barkley, man. So last night after the game, man, Charles Barkley had some things to say. He had a lot to say. And uh, basically, he said the Lakers suck. We don't play defense. We can't shoot. And all of those things are correct. You know, three of our guards, Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly, and Kendrick Nunn, all shot bad. Shot one for 25 all together. Can't have that. And that's not how you win games, man. This is a make it a miss league. Yeah, they can't control it when they miss. But hey, man, if your team can't shoot, you're not going to win the game, especially if you get out rebounding. I will say this about Russ, though. He did have five steals, even though he had a donut in the field goal category. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? He still played great defensively. But, yeah, man, this team is not built well, and it shows. It really does show. And Charles Barkley was climbing, basically, man. But he was telling the truth. And we're going to play some of that, and we're going to react to it. I got to challenge LeBron to do what? He's got to come out to AD. It's... If we're specking up. You need to bubble AD. Yes. We got like, yo, man, I am too old to carry this team. You should be the man. Like, when, when the, the, the transition from Kareem to Magic. Like, LeBron at this stage, he's the greatest of this generation, one of the best ever. But at his age, we should not be asking a 38-year-old guy to be the best player on your team. In no sport should a guy that age, especially when you have Anthony Davis. When I said five or six years ago, I said, Anthony Davis, I think he's going to be the best basketball player in the world. I said that one on one of our shows way back, when he, this is when he was still in New Orleans. He's not even mentioned anymore. When we talk about I mean, think of, we show five guys the other night for MVP, MVP. And, and Kenny, you said, well, what about Jason Tatum? And we're like, well, yeah, Jason Tatum should probably be on it. Now, after last night, we're like, I saw Zion went from 70 to 1 to 15 to 1. We don't even talk about Anthony Davis like that anymore. At some point, LeBron, it doesn't matter what you do privately. I think sometime if you're a leader, you have to challenge players on your team. And I would love to see LeBron says, hey, man, this is, I'm still, I'm getting ready. I'm, on, I'm past my prime. I'm still going to play good basketball. But as part of being the man, you have to have that responsibility. That's what goes with it. Okay. I was just getting ready to touch on that. Last year and this year, what they're putting around LeBron is an embarrassment. Last year, they put all them geezers around him. And what they got out there around him right now, it, somebody is not doing their job in L.A., period. Well, there you have it. Charles Barkley going off on the Los Angeles Lakers, calling it an embarrassment, calling it that a 38-year-old player has to carry the team. He went off on A.D. He even, he even went off on LeBron's leadership, challenging him. Saying that he wants uh, he wants to see LeBron lead more. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Charles Barkley, man, I like him because he, he tells the facts, man. He tells it like it is. You know, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. But yeah, man, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, man. Hit that sub button, man. It's free. I appreciate y'all for 243, man. Love y'all. Peace and love, family.